In this video, I'll tell you about making a simple fan blade in AutoCAD 3D. So let's get started with the spline tool and we'll start in the 3D modeling workspace. So click on spline and click at anywhere in the drawing area to start it and make a profile, but make sure that object snap and polar tracking is turned off to avoid the distractions. And here I have it, a completely random profile. So I'll fast forward this drawing, this view. Okay. And here we have the final profile now. Now we can modify this profile as well by selecting its grips. So select it and modify it using the grips just to make it a little bit more perfect. Okay. Now this seems perfect to me. So let's now exit this and join this open end with a line or a spline. So I'll go to this spline click on this endpoint and we need to turn on object snap. So click on object snap and now click at this endpoint and then at this endpoint and press enter. Now we need to join it as a single unit. Right now they are as two different units. So select it all, type J and press enter. Now it is joined as a single unit. So now let's go to the circle tool and make a circle of a random radius. Just make sure that it completely encloses these two endpoints and now select the circle and move it in order to enclose the two end points of the fan blade and now let's move to the next view the right view to see this drawing more clearly okay now we can hide the circle it is not required as of now so select it then right click isolate and then hide objects now we will make the profile of our blade for that you need to change the UCS. It is very important that you change the UCS to view as I did from the coordinates panel. Now go to the arc tool and make an arc as I'm making it right now. And for that you can turn off the object snap to avoid the distraction. So click at any point in the drawing area and now make an arc with the second point and the third point which completely passes through the profile as you can see that this arc is going way beyond the endpoints of the profile of fan blade so make sure it's completely passing that profile and click to make it we can also modify it we can adjust the position of grips to make it more precise and when you are satisfied with this press escape and go to the offset tool now go to this through option from the command line click on it and now apply a thickness. So this will be the thickness of our fan blade. Now go to spline or line tool and close these two gaps. So we need to turn on object snap, select it and click on these two endpoints. Now press enter again to repeat the command and click on these endpoints. And now we'll join it into a single unit. So for that, I'll select the geometries type J and press enter. Now it is joined as a single unit. So let's go back to the home view and click on this world UCS icon to return back to the default UCS configuration. And now we'll extrude both of these in geometries. So go to the extrude tool and select the fan blade, press enter and apply a random height or thickness to this. Now select this geometry, go to extrude and make it long enough to pass the fan blade profile so that both of the geometries completely intersect each other. Now, you can change the view or the visual style to see it more clearly if it is not visible in the wireframe visual style and we'll apply the boolean tool. So go to this intersect option and now select the first profile and then second and press enter. And here we have the fan blade profile as per our requirement. You can change the view from this view cube to see that in this view it is like this. In this view also it has a random shape as it is obviously required from this view also and even from the top view you can see the profile which we have made. So now let's bring back the hidden circle. So go to this unisolate objects option and bring it back here. And now we'll move this fan blade to the circle. So for that select it and click on move tool, click at this point, the mid one and go to this polar tracking and move it on the center of the circle. And now we can move it even further. So for that, we can change the view from view cube. So go to the top view, 
select it and from this move gizmo move it a little bit to the left and also a little bit upwards so that the end points of the fan blade are completely inside the circle okay and now you can see that it is going in the upward direction it's not completely horizontal so we need to change its angle as well so select this fan blade with this rotate gizmo so select the rotate gizmo click on this fan blade and press enter so this will bring this gizmo now specify the base point by clicking on this point and now select this red axis so this will rotate it in this direction now specify the reference line and specify the destination direction and click at a point to place it now orbit the drawing and we have it completely horizontal as per our requirement now go to the extrude tool select this circle and extrude it to a random height we don't need to be very precise here now we'll make copies of this blade so go to polar array select that object and now click at the center of the cylinder so you can orbit or zoom in a little bit to see the center but make sure you are clicking only at the center now change the number of objects to three and press enter and close this array and here we have it the final fan blade as per requirement now you can refine this 3d geometry by adding more details to this for example in the center we can add a groove so for that I'll first move it a little bit upward so that the fan blades are completely at the center of this cylinder and now let's go to the circle tool and add a groove at the center so for that I'll select the center tool for that you can shift right click and select center then click at the center point and now make a circle of random height so we can simply go to the top view as well from the view cube and now make a circle here and now change the visual style to hidden in order to see the circle more clearly and orbit this in geometry and go to the press pull tool now select this area and enter a depth or height of 0 0.05 units and press enter now we can also add a fillet to this in geometry for that go to the solid tab select the fillet tool and click on this radius option now enter a radius of 0 0.02 and click on this edge and press enter twice and here we have it the final geometry as per our requirement you can change the visual style to see this more clearly and here we have it so you can add even more details to this drawing in this drawing i've only tried to show the simple and the basic method of creating the fan blade you can also use a spline instead of arc to make it even of more complicated shape